Hey guys, Josh from the Shire here, and today I'm starting something I'm quite excited for, really. Um, I'm starting a playthrough of Mass Effect, the whole trilogy. Now, I would say, with pretty much, yeah, all confidence, that Mass Effect is probably my favourite game series ever. Um, I adore this series, I've played it multiple times. Um, everything about it, um, the RPG element is cool, you know, the decision making, um, the characters are so well written and so just awesome. You got just cool characters, badass characters, just character interaction, character development is really cool. Um, you've got an amazing, amazing story, um, amazing setting in a sci-fi universe. It is just, yeah, I love this series to death. I've played it so many times, but I haven't played it on PC. I played Mass Effect 1 on PC once. Um, years ago on my old laptop which could barely run it um, but the majority of the time I've spent with Mass Effect 2 and 3 have been on Xbox 360 so to play it on PC is a really cool experience for me because one I'll be able to see it at a high frame rate because obviously consoles cap to 30 um, and, it, and Mass Effect 1 on consoles pretty badly for performance so to play the whole trilogy in 60 FPS is going to be really cool um, and also the fact I can mod these games as well, which is why this is a modded Mass Effect um, playthrough. Um, I'm using mods for all the games. Um, for Mass Effect 1, all I'm using really is a couple of um, tweaks in the any configurations, just to tweak it a little bit. And also then I've installed a high resolution texture mod, which increases a lot of the in-game textures. Pretty much the majority of the textures in-game are high res much 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 better than the original game so yeah all the links to all the um, tweaks I've done and all the mods I've installed are all in the description below and without further ado let's get started with this series press the only key and here we go I was just that music is just amazing I love that music so yeah I did start a game just to test it all out but we're starting a new career obviously welcome to Alliance military database here we go Classified information requested. Oh, you have to click on it, don't you? Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Right then, so we're going to um, do a female character, I think, because I've done male characters quite a bit. Um, I've done a female character once in Mass Effect 1 and 2. But I've never done a female character in the third one, so I think if we do a female character and carry it all the way through, that would be cool. But you can see here, look at these textures on this model of Shepard. He looks so much better than the original textures. Um, I'm going to bring up a little image of the original game now. That's on the screen, you should be seeing that now, hopefully, if I do it in post properly. Um, so yeah, that's what he looks like originally, and now this is what he looks like with the texture mod installed. So much better. So, he's going to be a woman, obviously. Um, he's going to custom female. Please log in um, to access your profile. What should we call him? Call her, sorry. Um, why are the mods not, text not loading? It's being a bit weird, aren't you? Um, what are we going to call her? Da -da 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 -da. Let's call her... Hmm, I don't know. Sarah. I'm not even on the fucking thing. Sarah Shepard. Data corrupted. Warning, data corrupted. This is a cool way of letting you do like customer, custom like design of your character. To Please have it basically like there's one on file that's corrupted, so you have to reconstruct it. Confirm which is really cool. pre-service history. Uh, okay, I've done space quite a few times. Okay, I've done Earthborn and I've done Spacer, but I don't think I've ever done Colonist, so. Um, no, let's do Earthborn. Let's do Earthborn. Um, and I'm going to do a sort of Renegade playthrough because I've done them. Okay, I've done Paragon mainly. Um, so yeah, she's going to be a ruthless woman, Confirmed basically. Military specialization. Uh, class, 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 class. What should we play as? 
Soldier is just the boring default one. Uh, depth's quite cool. I like a depth. Sentinels combine tech and bio. Um. Um. Well, I've, I've done the depths and I've done soldier and I've done vanguard. I've never done infantry, infiltrator, sentinel, or engineer. Um, I think I might do a sentinel playthrough, an engineer playthrough maybe, or sentinel. Or maybe we should just do sentinel. So we got a little bit of both. Yeah, let's do sentinel. I've never done sentinel before. Confirm facial identification. She's going to look different, obviously, and those sections have been really weird. I don't know why they're doing that. Um, maybe they'll fix themselves in game. Right, let's just look for. Oh god. Um, I can't make a decent character. It annoys me that you just can't make a decent looking character. Um, oh god. I want her looking kind of cute, but obviously she's not too cute. She's supposed to be ruthless, like I said. Uh, skin tone, I'll keep it around default. Complexion is going to be like. Um, that was alright actually. Scar? No, she's got this. Oh, she have a little scar on her. It's a faint little scar like that one on her eyebrow, basically. Um, yeah, that one, basically, the default one on her eyebrow. Yep, okay. Uh, head. Neck thickness, we'll keep it a little bit thinner. Face size, oh god. Cheat width, no, keep that default. Cheat bones, um, gaunt, uh, yep, ear size, keep them around default, keep them around default. Eyes, um, eye shape, um, that one, eye height, basically the same. I'm gonna take that scar off, it looks a bit weird actually. Um, iris colour. Which eyes should we give her? Bluish eyes, light blue. That colour, that looks cool. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that scar. Uh, where was scar? Where was scar? Was it on? Nope. Go back. Uh, no, no scar. Okay, jaw. Keep that default, I think. Mouth, mouth shape. That one. Depth is basic. Nope. A little bit bigger. There. Um, height. Yep, keep that there. Nose. Oh god. Um, that looks quite alright, actually. That one. And height and height keep the same depth. About there. Okay. Hair. Okay, hair colour. Um, got a bit of redhead, didn't she? Uh, hair. Oh god. Um. Which is why I'm looking forward to the second one and third one. Because I'll be able to basically do some more mods for better hairstyles. I don't want to change her look too much, but I might alter her slightly. Oh god. Um, that one, I think. Yeah, that one. Brow colour's got to be red as well. Ish. There we go. There she is. Oh, makeup. A little bit of makeup for her. A little bit of blush. Uh, a little bit of blush. Uh, there. Lips. Oh god. Uh, okay, oh god, every time I change it. Just stop saying that. What kind of pink? There we go. Eyeshadow. There we go. Right then. 
Let's finalize her. Profile reconstruction complete. And accept. Confirm. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty. We're going to do our normal. Um, auto level up the squads. Um, no, we'll turn it off for now. We can just do it in game. Dark system is keeping normal. Squad is just going to be active. Subtitles. I'll keep them on just for you guys so you can see it. Makes it easy conversations, doesn't it? And let's go. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind I think of person her we can armor looks a bit better as now. I think it was just I'll on the loading screen, call. it looks weird. I hope. Maybe it's just because it hadn't rendered it for some reason. I'm not going to read that, you can read it if you want. But anyway, I just love this music, it's so good. And this intro is just, yeah. The best thing about Mass Effect for me was that I went into this game with no prior knowledge at all. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew, it was an RPG in space, and that was it. I didn't know anything about the story or whatever. And yeah, that armor looks a lot better, isn't it? Awesome. But yeah, I didn't know anything about the story when I went in. Nothing. So yeah, it was so good to experience the story firsthand and with all the we twists and stuff that it showed you. Calculating awesome and story with the Reaper and that. Majority of the character models in the Thrusters, game. Thrusters, check. Um, Navigation, check. And Internal emissions world sinking models gauge. and stuff. And the textures on the floor. Our and systems that. online. Like that chair Drift. model's a lot better than it is originally. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will also be added lights and stuff. That the lights on his suit weren't there guy. in the original. I don't think. Gave you a so couple. they're a lot. Well, they might have been so there, but they were a lot fainter. Didn't have much of a glow. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Cut the chatter. Yeah, we're gonna be a little bit of a bitch. But not evil. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Jennifer Look, Hale is so much better, I think. Support. Her voice Just compared to the Mark Mayer is awesome, Captain. obviously, but Stealth I like Jennifer Hale's engaged. voice as well. Everything looks solid. Good. It's really cool. She's, Find a calm buoy and link us into the She's a better shepherd, I think. I want Mission Mark Mayer is so good as well. Brass, yeah. before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Keith David there is Admiral. I'm not Admiral. He's um, Captain Nee at this point. I think he's Captain, yeah. Um, of course, Keith David is well known as the Arbiter and other games he's in. But yeah, here we go. Look at this. This is so cool. Um, I haven't put the motion blur or the grain on just because they look horrible. I'm going to put them on to show you. They don't really add much, in my opinion. If you have a quick look, come on. 
I don't like the blur, it just makes it look a little bit weird and the grain is a little bit, yeah, I don't like it, so I, I prefer to have them off. Again, it's a personal choice whether you like motion blur or not. I personally don't like it too much. Some games it works better. Um, I think maybe FPS's it works better, but in third person it doesn't. So let's just go back and get back into the game. Let's talk to Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You headed His down to see suit the captain. Looks so much better. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war, lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. I, I could go for hours and hours about background lore on this game. Basically, yeah, the Turians and the humans had a war when they first met each other in space. And a lot of them died on each side, so there's a little bit of hostility between the two. And Presley is quite sort of anti-alien. Of course that changes during the game. Um, plus he's a Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Right then. Um, here's the galaxy map, which we can't use yet, unfortunately. No, we will get to choose that later on. This isn't awesome. Okay. Oh yeah, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> you need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool <laughs> even under fire. Sorry, Commander, uh, but this waiting's killing me. I've so never been on a mission like Jenkins. this before, not one with the Spectre on board. Okay, this is... I'm going to play this as not knowing about the rest of the story, so it's just another mission. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. She is, of course, in a lot of stuff as well. She's the queen in um, Gears, of course. They say there's a lot of voice actors in this and other stuff. So let's go and see Admiral. No, not Admiral. Captain Anderson. Here he is. Oh no, it's Nihilus in there, isn't it? Let's go. 